I know I'm the one saying things, but an ominous structure loomed in the distance. I'm filled with determination. I'm aware that I'm skipping the Undying Day. Well, uh, see that building over in the distance? That's the, the core power, the source of power of all the underground. It converts geothermal energy to magical electricity. By uh, anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to the Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home. The elevator says Air One! But what does the R stand for? Ravioli? Ravioli, the dumpling style pasta. The treasure chest of the culinary world. Delightful. Toby had to write all that text, the poor schmuck. And we're off to the wacky races. I was on a cooking show. Did you? Uh oh. All right, gotcha. That's Undyne now! <laughs> oh my god! His actual sprite is talking! Oh, that is... Oh, he's because he's talking... Oh. Uh, uh, mm. oh, it's the Mad Doll. He's here now. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! This is going to kill me. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Oh, she's playing the actual music. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Uh, hi, I don't think we... Why don't you two come in? Here, Undyne! My friend bought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You do have fun! This is the part where I lie down and bleed to death, isn't it? So, why are you here? <sighs> to rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me further? Is that it? N no? Then why are you here? Wait. Get it? You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? A delightful accent. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why don't I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my hot guest, I would beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang! What a shame! I thought Online could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. Oh my god. The fact that he's actually clever enough to pull this is just incredible. And she's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? 
Doris, wait a second. Doris. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Yeah, that's that's awfully cruel. But pirates, I need reinforcements. I can't believe he left it at the window. Probably that's the. Apparently, this is supposed to be medicine. But I admire his lifestyle. No nerds allowed. Maybe some nerds. That's Alphas. Uh, would you like some dark residue? Hot fridge. I like it. Yeah, she. I mean, sword making is not easy. Let's let's not pretend otherwise. Oh, I love this. Like, hey, progress. <laughs> Comfortable. Oh, <coughs> I'll get you something to drink. She still has, like, the dramatic shading. <laughs> All set! What would you like? Don't get up. Your last! Sit down and enjoy yourself! <gasps> Why not just point to what you want? Okay, what do we got? We have sugar, goes in the tea, undine, a oh, cod. Hot chocolate green cylinder. A quiet taste. I mean, you're never gonna find out to know. God damn it. <laughs> Coming right up! Take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> Slide whistle. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Can I put the spear away? It's careful. It's hot. It's not that I want to just drink it already. It's pr <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty good! 
Yeah, it's for... <laughs> oh, that's just great. There's something about video games that let you do that, and it makes sense and it works. Absolutely, precious friend. Just fight me already. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's... That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. <laughs> You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was pretty hot at a kid. Once, I tried to prove I was the strongest, and I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Yeah, he's a boss monster. He's like a big boy. I couldn't land a single blow on him. It's kind of funny. A lot of people speculate that because Asgore and, T and Toriel, like the two boss monsters we know about, they're wusses. They... I mean, Asgore's kind of a fight, but on a genocide run, he's still pushover. There's the implication that if a boss monster actually wants to fight, they would actually be a legitimate threat. There's just none. And that's why the later Asriel fight is still freaking weird. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. <laughs> I've never seen someone more proud of the getting their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. And I'm the one who gets to train the dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus... But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let the pirates into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him my dad said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not like he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. Yeah, he is. He's actually impressively powerful. It's just, he's such a weenie. Like, the real reason you kick his ass in Genocide Run is he's just like, I want to be your friend, and he lowers his guard, because that's how monsters work. If they trust you, or they lower their guard, they're worthless. Or if they're afraid. He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to... Which is why a lot of people make fan theories about, like, Asgore fighting properly, Toriel fighting properly, uh, Papyrus fighting properly, because there's a lot of characters implied to be strong, it's just that you're an asshole. And that f fucks him up more than the actual fighting does. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead, and I could never send him into battle. He could rip a little smile in shreds. And that's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll go get you some more. Wait a second. Paris is cooking. You're supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to do it for him. That's a mess. That's right. Nothing has brought the pirates like closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer friends than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. I love how fast that animation is. It's so good. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. I punch the vegetables for a horse. I knock over it to me. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are... I don't think we can use any of that. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a pole later. But for now... We had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy Star Brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> I just put them in the pot. How will I put them in? Fiercely. I throw everything to the pot. <laughs> the pot. Oh, there's no water in it yet. All right, it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Why did she play the good music? Please? Ugh, let me do it. You have a lot of anger issues. 
that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove stop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Are you trying to teach me magic or what? <laughs> Ow, that hurt. That was a little too much passion. And now I burnt down the house. Ah! Man, I wonder if fire sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Grapple being friends for friendship bracelets? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with her. Why is your speed? I understand if you feel about that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles! I even failed to befriend you. I love that animation is way more involved now. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out both sides. Oh. Okay, give me a moment. So, fun fact. I think we can strike her and... Does doesn't do anything. Fake attack does the same thing, apparently. What? That's the best you can manage? Come on. Even attacking full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but... When you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. I know that you aren't just some wimpy loser. <laughs> a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their souls instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I will take the human souls and cross the barrier, and I will beat the hell out of you. Which is why the fact... So, in the normal neutral ending, Flowey takes the souls and they all vanish. This helps counter that, and I love this part. Yeah, this isn't the place to be doing this. I like that the house is all sad. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out some other time. But, uh, uh somewhere I, else, I guess. <laughs> In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later. Punk. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How did you get there so fast? I ran. Wowie, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. Sounds like only fire lives here. I love that it's such a sad house. Okay, let's talk about the bird, because I mentioned this. My head still hurts from... I really wanted to keep that ah going for as long as I could, but I didn't breathe ahead of time, so I was, like, committed to something that I was not ready to commit to. I made the stupidest decision in my life, and I love it. Hang, hang! Tra-la-la, <laughs> 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 the room before the darkening lap room. 
<laughs> broom, 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 broom. I want you in my room. I've got you to clean up. That's what brooms are for. Crane is the biggest muscle of all! I like all the furry one too. Snowden, home of Papyrus! That's the slogan, right? Ah. Uh. I'm but Oh my god, that's just the thing that he does, I guess. A chew. Does have standards. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like that Undyne's whole thing is like she doesn't actually give a crap and she just wants to kill you, but that it's like, you know, you're actually kind of cool. You just help me for like, I think, I think part of the point is like, A, you help her, and B, you got that fighting spirit. Like, you didn't just give up, you didn't just die. You were, you were a challenge. And when she overcame that, and you kind of bothered to placate her. You're probably on some level. And uh, also, somewhat important is the fact that you remind her of Asgore. You remind her of... You remind, your, you remind her of yourself as... At, I don't know, man. I'm not very smart. I just noticed that you can tell if the boat's going to be the dog. Because, yeah, that's the head again. No, I want to do the call. Anime? Isn't that some kind of cartoon for small children? Is the sound a baby makes? Uh, is... Uh, an emotion? Yeah, cause he's... 